each owner of a private house wants to see the most interesting and attractive courtyard, the landscape design of which will not only please the eye, but also be able to cause a touch of envy among the neighbors. Now on the internet you can find many photographs of courtyards that will amaze with their uniqueness and originality. It is best to pay attention to the yards, which are perfectly combined in style with the house and other structures on the land. You can create a beautiful landscaping of the courtyard yourself by realizing your fantasies or using a ready-made option from the network. In order to create a stylish and unique yard, one desire is not enough. Because you need to take into account all the rules, nuances and subtleties of landscaping and space zoning. For visual demarcation of the territory, it is best to use yard gardening. Also, in order to divide the yard into zones, you can use hedges, decorative bushes or some interesting flowers. A playground or a picnic area can be surrounded by a fence or a hedge of branches and wicker. For a stylish design of transitions from one zone to another, it is better to use arches, and to make them look more impressive, it is better to use flowers climbing over them. If there is a gazebo or terrace on the site, but there is not enough money for them, then you can use the alternative by replacing them with a lightweight pergola, surrounding it with flowers. In open areas, screens and screens made of natural materials can be used. Such elements always create a unique design, and it is better to make them manually. Bamboo mats, vines and river shields can be used as material. Such screens represent not only a decorative look, but also help to zone the space, create a shadow and protect from the wind. In one of the far corners of the yard, behind bushes and flowers, you can place a small shed or hut, which will become an element that complements the landscape design, as well as a place for children where they can play. When laying tracks, it is not necessary to place the material back to back. For example, small gaps can be left between the plates, and then covered with sand or pebbles. Alternatively, you can use garden grass, and then plant small flowering plants here that will cover the slabs and give the impression that you are walking on a carpet path. Among plants, cloves and thyme are best suited for this, but this is not important, the main thing is to use plants of dwarf sizes. The paths that are located as close as possible to the house should have a strict style, it is best to lay them out of paving stones. If this option does not suit you, then you can use brick, both white and red, or concrete. In other areas, for example, near a recreation area or closer to an artificial reservoir, material with irregular shapes can be used, which will have different dimensions. You can also not dwell on one specific material, but make a combination of them, which will also look spectacular. When laying the tracks, the main thing is to focus on the style of the facade in such a way that everything harmoniously combines with each other and creates a single picture.